Hi everyone, it's Kite back again. Late as always, more difficulties once again. But we are back with the Onimusha series. And so recently we played through. So we played through the whole of Oni Musha one, but I was told afterwards that there was some stuff we unlocked that I didn't actually see, which appears to be this Samonosuke Extra mode. So I'll quickly want to show that off and see whatever that is. What? Oh, okay. I have to select Extra and then New Game. Let's go Easy mode. Not that it matters too much at the moment, but I just want to show this off before we kick into. Only Musha 2. We've seen all of this in the past. So I just want to see what this extra stuff is, because if it's if it is what I'm expecting, it should hopefully be worth it. It is quite frankly amazing. This way, sir. There it is! We are dressed as a giant panda! If our is at the key, oh, I've got a little panda in a pouch. The Even path, in the cutscene. We are a scary panda though. I'll go north. And that one you seems to be alive. Understand. <gasps> we are a panda! Ah, oh, nothing, nothing particularly special there, though. But we've got a panda. Let's zoom in on the little panda if we can. Yay! It is adorable, and that was worth coming back to Oni <laughs> Musha for. Yes, yes, hi Pandy, yes, and I've jumped on this specifically after what you said to me last time, just to see the panda, and it is much better than I was hoping for, though I was kind of hoping he'd wear the head as well, I was kind of hoping the scary panda head wouldn't just sit there on her back, but oh well, the little, the little one in the pouch more than makes up for it, what do you think? It looks like it's alive. Oh, it's looking at me. It's looking back down. See, I'd kind of move on, but we'd just get into some sort of cutscene. And I don't think this is going to change, so give me two seconds. I am going to swap out the game. Apparently I didn't plan for that. But what's the audio sound like? So I've had to quickly redo all of the audio just before I went live because as I mentioned to you earlier <laughs> I mentioned to you earlier I've had to go from Streamlabs OBS to Elgato's capture software back to OBS Studio today. So I've had to quickly just set everything back up from scratch, along with a few new things. Good, good. Yeah, this is 
the thing about running through this as opposed to I wouldn't say that's an error I've never played before oh it's an insufficient free space I'm gonna have to do something about that This is the one downside <laughs> to playing on a on an actual system, yes. Not only was the memory card full, but while attempting to I'm actually surprised this is working, because while attempting to swap out the memory card, I had just ejected the disc there. And that might be why it's completely gone. <laughs> oh, I've got an entire stack of PlayStation memory cards lying around. Because I am indeed playing this on an actual PlayStation 2. And not just any PlayStation 2, my original one I had from like the age of 10 years old. And until only a couple years ago, it was absolutely covered in puffy Digimon stick uh, stickers. <laughs> it works now. The laser went a number of years back when it was still a current gen console and it got fixed. And I think the laser's slowly going again now because it only reads. It only reads like blue discs and black discs or when it's on its side well that's wonderful it's completely lost signal for some reason Should this one ever actually go, I've got a couple backups knocking around. Though I can only actually capture from the fat PlayStations because they're the only ones. Basically, what I've got is I've got a, an adapter that converts from the red, white, and yellow cable. I can never remember if it's their composite or component to HDMI it doesn't do anything with the quality it just lets me run a HDMI cable through it and that is quite chunky so in the thin ones it actually no no what do you mean no mem space what do you mean there's sufficient space on memory card slot 2 Memory card slot 2 is the one that used to be in slot 1. <laughs> uh, special feature. Museum. Right, that wasn't worth it. I thought we might get some sort of special feature for having a memory card that had a usual one save on it, but apparently not. In 1560, Lord Nobunaga Oda defeated Yoshimoto Imagawa in Okehazama. Soon after his victory, Nobunaga fell to a fatal arrow which pierced his throat. However, Nobunaga was far from finished. With the help of the demons, he rose from the dead. 
demons began their rampage, slaughtering innocent villagers. Then a young warrior, Samanosuke Akechi, stood up and defeated the demon king. The nightmare, however, did not end. A few years later, his strength restored. Nobunaga was set to conquer the entire country. I know, right? How great would it have been to transfer the panda suit over and then just run through the entirety of this game in the panda suit? Because I would have done it. Though I kind of feel like we're cheated a bit here. We've gone from our ultimate enemy being the Demon King to it being Zombie Boy. At least that guy tried to fight back. Turn into a weapon. What? Oh, he did fight back. What? Well, they've all got weapons. Man, these zombies picked the wrong village to try and massacre. Or maybe not. Maybe it's like prison rule, where when you're taking over the country, you take on, you know, the village that's going to fight back the most, and then you send a message to all the other villagers. You fight the biggest and strongest village first. Yeah, I kind of feel like this zombie Nobunaga who just punched himself in the face does not live up to the demon. Oh, that's pretty. Does not live up to a demon king. So this seems to be a really beautiful way of introducing the various characters. So is that one our replacement for Kane? Kane? Got a lot more sporting characters this time as well. So, all the male characters start off all looking sort of badass and whatnot. And then the one female supporting character starts off naked and has to get dressed.
And I'm also wondering if there's going to be like puzzle solving elements we have to swap between these five different characters throughout the game or not. A new warrior, Jube Yagyu, heard about a demon attack on his hometown, Yagyu Village. Fearing the ominous presentiment in his heart, he desperately raced back home. Oh no, so Nobunaga did pick the wrong village to attack. Oh yeah, I think they've definitely upped to the cinematic quality since the first one. She dead. And they're dead. gonna find any survivors from this. Who did this? Demons. Were you not listening? It's almost like you didn't watch the introductory cutscene. Oh no, scary disembodied voice. Who's there? Jube. Come to me, Jube. It's a trap. Oh, that's a shiny. Oh, we can save the game here. Yes. So it looks like there's going to be five things to collect there in the centre. Maybe weapons or some sort of jewel or orbs. Oh, there's a survivor. Not for long, though. Oh, you know him. Mr. Jubei! Yesuke! Soon enough. Oh. Yesuke! Yesuke! You're the ones who attacked here? For whom are you oh, working? Pull out your sword. I won't forgive you. Prepare yourself! Okay, so we retain the tank control of the first game, but they do feel a bit smoother than that. Like a bit more fluid, a bit faster as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where were you when all those things were attacking us? Are you? Because we've left the village at this point. 
So that red one seems to be some sort of ranked up version. But at least the chests are the same and they reward us with a man. In some games you'd have to create the map yourself by adventuring and exploring the areas or just, you know, finding the map when it's hidden. Whereas in only Musha they just tend to give it to you within the first couple of screens just right out in the open. Which isn't bad when you're lost. Something's telling me we need to go in there. I want to see what's in the blue glowing shrine first. Oh, that is... That is... <laughs> for lack of a better term, destructible environments. Oh, no, 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 no. Go back. There we go. Switch around. What? Oh, there was like an entirely separate cave there for a second. Okay. It does seem flimsy. So the dragon wants to see a passport or a driver's license. And then potentially it will open up the flimsy looking rock. So presumably we don't get bombs here. We'll have to do a few more dungeons to get some bombs. It's like one of those rides in Disneyland or Universal where they just pump steam at you. Gonna eat your face. <laughs> what? A demon woman? Uh, you're behind this. Uh, uh, uh. The one responsible for burning down Yagyu village is Nobunaga Oda. What? Kill him, for he is the real demon. Dunno, you a look demon. a bit like the demon. What are you thing. talking about? <laughs> ah, defeat the demon, Jubei. Your hand has the power to absorb the souls of demons. Use this power to defeat Nobunaga. humans from the demons charity faith honesty respect and strength gather all the orbs and defeat nobunaga you must
must go to the dragon shrine and obtain a hidden power. Then you may begin your quest in the gold mine in Imasho. Who are you? You can do it, my son. Hey, so welcome back, Pandy. You've just missed us unlock our ability to capture demon souls. So in the last game we had that really cool looking gauntlet. Play instructions, that's a bit of an odd item. Not that we need it. Uh, so yeah, we had that really cool looking demon gauntlet which in the end turned us into a demon. This time we just get a tribal tattoo. Overall a pretty significant downgrade. Wait, did I actually open that chest? Oh, I did. There. Yeah. Getting so caught up in my disappointment in between awesome demon gauntlets and... Yeah. So just... Tribal tattoos. But yeah. And as I say, in that woman, she had a snake in her. Last time we saw someone with one of those, it was the demon king. Let's see if I can get more help and get up again. Oh. Probably work on. Um, I've actually played the game. This one may very well be a sneak lady. It would explain. It would explain his power to absorb demon souls, and potentially why we may end up turning into a demon if the ending to this is anything like the ending to the last game. This is my new power. I will get my revenge. You will pay for this. Nobunaga! Okay, so unfortunately, I think there may be... 1568. Oh. Gold was discovered in the valley of Imasho, which is situated between the Mino province of Oda, the North Omi province of Asai, and the Echizen province of Asakura. In no time, adventurers and merchants, motivated by greed, crowded into Imasho, transforming the small village into a prospering mining town. Is that gold! all? Gold! Oh. Oh, what? Gold! I found gold! Gold! It's gold! I'm rich! <laughs> I'm it's rich! Gold. It's gold! It's gold! It's gold! gold. I'm rich! I'm rich! I'm rich! I'm rich! I'm rich! There's gold in them now, Hills. Oh, I thought they were calling a sweet thing there. 
So you think you're too good for me, huh? <laughs> oh, let go! See, I think that may have been quite a bit of wishful thinking on our part that those three guys were calling Jubei sweet thing. But yeah, no, I kind of feel like we may have missed some stuff there. Like our village was attacked and we got a demon sword and then boom, we're in another town. What? And back to your mummy point now, I kind of feel like maybe he should have got his hand bitten off. I kind of feel like he's got this too easy. You know what I mean? Like the last guy, is, he went to save. Maybe, maybe it could be. I mean, I imagine it probably is a, a, a time. I can't even think of the word now, but yeah. Uh, pass it, the passage of time, but yeah. Um, in the last one you go to save the princess and you get attacked and I want to say you almost get killed and in this one we just sort of walked in killed the things and you know snake mum was like here's a cool power to kill demons go use it to get a cool sword treat yourself Whoa! Did he just say it was very funny that he actually died? Jesus Christ, these people are ruthless like, ha, ah, he actually died and now I'm quite wealthy <laughs> because of it. Way, way to be humble, guy. Way, way to remain humble about that. <laughs> And we got distracted and we kind of lost the woman we were chasing, which seemed kind of weird and oh, man, they're here already. She's kind of weird and stalky that we're just gonna chase this woman down. Oh they do they actually oh oh there's a money system in this game. That explains the history lesson. We're going to have to collect a ton of gold to buy stuff. What? Why would we ever want the original sword when we've got this? Our cool demon sword. sword. Yep, we meet her once and then straight on to stalking. And by the end of Winner Heart. <laughs> oh my god, I did not think of that. Yes, we can now spy on her from a distance. But we can spy on everyone from here by the looks of it. So these guys aren't going to stop by the looks of it. So we're just going to mosey on out of here. Do you have a permit? I've got a sword. I won't allow you to enter the mine unless you have a permit. I repeat, we have a sword. I won't allow oh. you to enter the mine <laughs> unless you have a permit. <laughs> okay, so if I try and stab the guy, 
we just talk to him. I won't allow you to enter the mine unless you have a permit. So this guy's got some sort of reality bending powers. I oh, we won't can't even allow walk you to by enter him. The mine unless you have a permit. Fine, fine, we'll get the permit. So he's got reality bending powers that just reverts me back to a previous state before I tried to hit him. <laughs> That is a cool combo. So we went up there to find out, A, we need a permit, but we did get it. Oh, we should have asked if you'd trade the telescope. If we could have traded this, we could have gone all adventure gamey and rubbed everything against everything. Just smushed the telescope in his face to see what he'd do. Did you see all the destructible environments in this? Oh. Like, what I noticed earlier is we could chop down trees or shoot us anyway. That's what we're after. Cloth. What? I'm now a little bit worried about some sort of crafting system with cloth and various other materials. It's round. Yes, pull all the levers and it's clearly missing something. No, it's not missing anything. May or may not be timed. Oh, we got the big chest. Oh, we got the bow right off the bat this time. He definitely does have it easier. Oh, it makes me miss Samenosuke. Oh, kind of open. There's like a secret unlockable where we get to play as Samanosuke. Maybe we can gamble for a permit or win it in some sort of drinking game. Hey, that might be that guy from the opening. Whiny much. <gasps> that woman gave me the help sign, so I had to break things up between the two of you. Get over it. What? Seriously. Who'd want a red bald head like you? A red bald head? Outside now! Oh, he's made him cry. <laughs> oh. Huh. It's a fight! It's a fight! It's a fight! It's a fight! It's a fight. <laughs> So it's gonna be like that scene from Indiana Jones where the one guy's the one guy's preparing with his sword and Indy just pulls out his gun and shoots him and it's just over. You cheat! Coward! You are too old fashioned. You arrogant fool! Stop this! 
Eke Ankakuji is an honorable man. Famous with the spear of the Hazoin. Magoichi Saiga is also an honorable man, and is a chief of the Kishu Saiga gun team. But it is dishonorable to fight over such trifle things. And you are? Jubei Yegyu, the young chief of the Yegyu clan. Eh? Then you are the Jubei Yegyu who is master of the blade? It must be fate that three proud warriors meet in such a town. There will be no fight today. Maguichi, take pity on you instead. <laughs> so we've already run into most of our party. All we're missing so far is the ninja. what that material is for gifting we're gonna have to gift there's inevitably gonna be a quest in here isn't there where we gift one thing to someone and they give us a one of a kind item and we gift that to a specific person and they gift us a one of a kind item and we gift that to a specific person and in the end we get something that's either completely valuable or completely useless by that point So, who wants a gift and why? Okay, so the telescope was a gift. Who, who do you reckon wants what? I mean, I doubt either of these fellows want cloth. But maybe this guy wants a telescope. Maybe he wants to spy on people. Should I give him? No, let's not give him the telescope. Let's just not enable that. Okay, oh, okay, he wants history books. Okay, so he wants history books. What does he want? He just wants alcohol, okay. But you, what? You don't want anything, thank God, and you don't want anything. Like this guy. What? Hello? Yes? No? Hello? Sir? He's drunk too much, we can just phase straight through him. Oh, can we gift the cat? Let's gift the cat something. Cat. We can't even talk to... Oh, we can't even talk to the... Meow. So we can't even talk to the cat, which is very, very much disappointing. <laughs> oh, it actually moves. Where's it going? That's enough of that. Oh, I did follow the cat. It just found a different resting space. The cat moved something with a, uh, somewhere with a bit more sun now oh, 23 minutes in and we're one fifth done with the game already
Oh, treasure chest. We got a pipe, okay. It's definitely a gift. Oh, okay. So there's probably someone we can gift one of the things we've got to. And we didn't get to see all of this last time. Yes, we'll buy one bucket of salt. And that bloke's got OCD. No, he's not interested in women. We know this, it's the, you, when those three guys failed to call him Sweet Thing and he got all disappointed. And we're just going to project that onto him. Oh, that's why we need a horse. It's not what I was going to say, I was going to say a permit, uh, permit, because the mine's full of gold. I don't know. Oh, I, I kind of wanted to buy the urn. Ancient documents. Okay. So apparently we will like this town. But we gotta talk to everyone. Sure, we can't buy them anywhere else. I mean, I'd love to do some shopping. We have a whole, a whole like 40 gold at this point or something. In fact, we've got a whole 1100 gold. So we could buy all sorts right now. I mean, probably not because uh, my guess is the value of gold is, you know, just decreased so much. At this point, gold is probably entirely worthless in this town. What have you got to say? Oh, okay, here's a shop. We can actually buy things. Which is nice, especially if we can end up buying healing items. I'm sorry, that fellow could not find a history book in this entire town. I told you, gold is practically worthless here at this point. There's so much of it. Oh, a dog! We found dogs. So we've got macaws, horses, dogs and cats so far. I'm not disappointed by the animal variety. Oh my god. You poor fella. What? She's just... Oh, she's just messing him around, isn't she? First she likes a fat man, then she wants a strong, vigorous man. That poor dude put on weight for that. So 
what will we get this time? It would be better to read them all at once. Right, so he gave us the thing. Should we give him the ancient documents as well? It's, it's See what happens if we give him the ancient documents. I'm really hoping we don't waste these. I've been looking for this book. Thanks. No, he wanted the ancient documents. And he gave us some bullets. He said he likes to read. Didn't say what he wants to read. Apparently that was a romance story as well. Ooh, rare items. I do like the sound of those though. Wait, what? No, there was no one upstairs in the bar. So there's a guy above the bar. Let's go back and take a look at that. It certainly wasn't there last time. He's here! Oh, is this our ninja? Is this the entire party to get up? in one town? <sighs> the wallet? Well, I gave it back to the owner. <laughs> what? <laughs> Follow the leader, monkey men. Keep up! Wait. You little brat! Hey, get hey. out! So, that's everyone. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you! Ow! 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 So are those the same three men from earlier, do you reckon? Anyone else would have killed them. Thanks, Jubei Yagyu. How do you know my name? Everyone knows everyone. I observed you walked away from Yagyu Village after it had been burnt down. Who are you? Taro Buma. I see. You are a chief ninja working for the Hojo clan. Why did you come here? I'm here because of a certain Oda clan leader. You are scouting. Then you shouldn't play pranks. What? A man who shows off too much will be caught someday. That's none of your business. Okay, it's fine if they're not the same guys. They're definitely not going to like us after what we just did to them. But... Hmm. Kind of feel like that led nowhere. Oh, a treasure chest. 
board. We're just going to bunch of random crap at this point. Like we're going to decorate our man cave or something. We can have a globe that folds out to reveal a secret bar. And I don't know what else did we pick up a pipe for smoking. I mean, what else would we, would we need a monocle? Who knows what image I've got in my head at this point. Save all of that. Because I don't know what we're doing anymore. I kind of feel like that might be important later on. Oh, you're not the only one who's lost. I have no clue. <laughs> oh, we could actually interact with the door. Let's go back upstairs. Just in case. Oh, there are more people up here now. Do you have a family? Are you willing to sell me a family? Or are you offering to become my family? If so, I demand a nice ring. Demand a ring in a luscious ceremony, a luxur a luxury ceremony. Oh, this guy wants the globe. Well, I've got just the thing for you. Here is a telescope, and you can go out sailing. No, we've got a globe. Oh, it is him. So That's it's him. true. The Earth really is round. Well, I mean, if you believe this, but you, you know, could be flat. Could be. I mean, you know, I just showed you a thing. It's not necessarily proof. I don't actually think I do have every anything that would surprise him. There's a dead fellow. Don't wake you. All I did was step on you. Well, let's just go wander aimlessly again. That's done us wonders so far. Might be someone in the smithy. New NPCs seem to be popping up all the time. No, does no one work around here? <gasps> no, no one works. Can I interact with this? No. See, no, I, I definitely like the first one. There were far less people to deal with in the first one. And that's what I like, not having to talk to people. Just let me run around and stab things. That's all I need. Over to you too, buddy.
Hey, I peek champ. We're d d d finally getting on with this. Oh, but you missed. You're going to have to go back and watch the start of this at some point. Because there is an... Nope. Not dealing with him anymore. There is a, there's a great scene involving a panda at the very start. Not worth it for the little bit of health that it'd give me. Sleeping in late's a good thing, I assume, anyway. Oh, we can go back and buy stuff from the shop. We should come and shop. Yeah, okay, like they're going to sell out. Oh, we can buy the parrot. And we can buy... Let's... Oh, what do we buy? What do we buy? So, the red baldy wants vodka. So, we're definitely going to buy that. But what else do we buy? Yeah, yeah, we've got the vodka. Do we reckon the ninja... Would be entertained by the parrot. He said he was bored. Do we think he'd like the parrot? Or is the parrot far too expensive to take a risk on? Let's, let's start with the vodka. And see what the bold guy gives us for that. He might give us something we can trade to someone else. Or he might give us something completely useless. Hey buddy. Got a nice bottle of vodka. Wonderful! Bored spirits are always enjoyable! Oh, he's happy. Oh, what? No, that was pointless. We wanted something we could trade to someone else. Right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna buy the parrot. I'm gonna give it to the ninja. And if he doesn't like it, we'll reload the save point because we may only get one parrot, and I don't really want to waste it. I feel like if we give him the compass, we'd also have to give him the telescope because they'd go together in a sort of mariner way. He, he kind of wanted the globe though as a way of seeing that the world wasn't round not in a sort of navigational sense if you wanted a navigational sense he'd want a map or charts or something and he'd probably be at uh, probably be at some sort of port town ready to get on a ship or something Let's, let's burden him with the responsibility of a pet. Let's give him something he's got to feed and play with and clean. If not, we'll just feed the parrot to the, to the cat. You brat. What? Do you think I'm a child? <laughs> 
Oh, what? <laughs> that might have been worth it. That might have been worth it. Just for that. Let's, let's, let's see. Now what's he going to give us? It would be better to read them all at once. Choosy bastard. There's at least seven volumes and he wants all of them at once. But we'll just give this guy wine. He's drank all of his vodka by now, I can guarantee that. I love good drinks! There we go. Okay. This might entertain the ninja. Come on. A music box. It's even better than I imagined. So what song do we reckon the music box is playing? What? Who doesn't like good drinks? See this guy, this guy I appreciate because he's simple. This guy's like, just give me something to drink and I'll be happy. Do we have any food? Should we, should we give him an egg? Should we buy him an egg? Does an egg go with drink? Were they selling any grilled fish at the shop? Can we afford grilled fish? Let's find out. Out of the way. Oh, they were selling grilled fish. I wouldn't go as far as to call him my best friend. He's not shared any of his drink with me yet. You know, I'm giving him all this drink and he's not even offered me a glass yet. the egg. Hmm. See, so I feel like there's got to be someone somewhere we can talk to. I mean hopefully it's not all just trading between three guys. Oh if we, if we need an earn a fortune he'll sell it to us. What's your friend? This guy? Was he in an accident? Is that a chest back here with a mask that no one wants yet? So 
So, uh, the only one who hasn't told us what he wants now is the ninja. Board. You've got a parrot and a yes, yeah, so you've got a parrot and you've got a music box. Are you not entertained? Is he just gonna complain? I woke him up. Wake up. Yep. Okay, does anyone have any ideas of what I have to do? I figured out there's a room upstairs, yes. Oh, now he's offering to sell me one. So we've potentially just been trading back and forth for the sake of trading? In fact, I've just noticed the save screen says character Jubei, so we're definitely going to swap character at some point. But onwards, progress and all that. put this guy in his place. So once we get past these guys. Okay, oh. you can go in. Oh yeah, we got a permit now. We don't bow down to your reality bending powers anymore. Monster! Monsters! In the mind tapped! Monsters? A woman wearing armor went in there. I I I tried to stop her, but What? Uh, uh, oh that woman went in there over an hour ago at this point. I mean, we've just been trading stuff back and forth, wasting so much time, and she's probably killed. And hello there, Steve. Thank you for joining us. Do you have any insight into this game? Do you know what I should be doing? Losing that progress. So into the depths of hell we go. Ooh, gold. Demon Ball Scroll. To find. Yes, yes. Released Jan 19. We did play the original, or well, I played the original Onimusha a couple of weeks back. Just before the announcement got made of that. Anyway, to find this demon is to find a mysterious door. A strange and nasty demon, uh, demon, demon named Mozon guards this type of door. A pupil of Guildenstern created the Mosin from Bright Moss under the ground. You know what? 
it ain't got a, uh, I don't know, there's a demon that guards a door or something. Oh, this is even worse than the first game. <laughs> no. Um, oh, that is terrible. I hate those. Uh, absolutely hate those kinds of puzzles. Oh, that would be terrible. I hope I hope someone out there is good at puzzles. Because someone's going to have to be. And, oh, me and Pandy were talking about Halloween earlier. It's almost upon us. It's almost the season. Couple more days. And... Wait, how did he get here before us? He was in the bar. Drunk. you got to give me more to work on, mate. All I know is you like food and beer. So. You don't know if you can tell me what you might like. Unless you want gold. Oh look, we've already made the 100 gold back that we spent getting the permit. And we've not seen any monsters yet, I don't think. Oh, we've made more than our share back. Oh, there we go. There's our monsters. It's the lizard people. Oh my god, the lizard people are destabilizing the economy by giving away free gold. It's like one of those goddamn conspiracy theories. The lizard people rule the world in secret. So, do they just keep spawning? Is that what this is? Ooh, more gold. a suit of gold by the time we leave here. In fact, I want to say that was potentially the holy armor was the gold suit. I feel like that one up there on the rafters may have had some sort of ranged weapon like a bow or a gun. Oh no, that was that was that guy. At least someone's here to help me. You monsters are really in trouble now. And that bloke probably been just stood up there and watched. Uchi, don't be a coward. Fight with us. No, I'm not the mood. How rude! Oh, I should have hit him with the lizard man. Or perhaps, is it, I don't know, could it be a trading thing if I did give him Maguichi more stuff, but he decided to fight? 
the boldy because we got the boldy significant uh, sufficient that he wants to help us he is just stood back and not in the mood as well that is a different kind of enemy that one had a big red glowy circle on it well I will see see please help Hmm? Huh? My daughter. My daughter was kidnapped by monsters. What? What was she doing daughter? down here? So, is your daughter pretty? Oh, of course. I think she is the most beautiful girl in the world. Let's just hope she doesn't take after her father. I shall bring her back to you. Tell me, where did the monsters go? That way. Yes, yes, yes! He's a simple man. That guy. He's always getting into trouble. Oh, and secretly they're like best friends now. And he's worried. No, no, they're not going to die. They were, they were in the cut. They were in like the opening cutscene. They're like in it for the long haul now. Oh, I ain't reading all of. Oh, I definitely ain't reading all of that. I feel like they just walk down here, and it's a bit of a dead end. Where did they actually go? Oh, we're going to get... Ooh. We've got a spear. Yes, welcome back. You came just in time to watch us get a spear. Oh, it doesn't quite look as nice as the... Or work as nicely as the glaive from last time, though. You missed the lizard people conspiracy, Pandy. Lizard, lizard folk showed up. Oh, maybe it is just as good as the glaive and willing to swing it. Yeah, I started coming up with conspiracies like the lizard people gave us all this gold in order to destabilize the economy and take over the world. Makoichi, you fool! I feel like they went in the complete opposite direction earlier. Yeah. You. You're like children. Eke, have you found the daughter? Not yet. Then why are you wasting time? I have to settle this first. I dream of becoming a feudal lord. I'd do anything to make it happen. Anything! Even serve Nobunaga. Yes! The, the point is, Makuichi laughed at my dream! I laugh because it's silly. Jubei, what's your dream? I don't have a dream. I will kill Nobunaga. Another man possessed by a vengeful ghost. <laughs> a vengeful ghost? What do you mean? Magoichi! See, so I kind of ship the two of them together now. And did, did the cloth say it? Did the cloth Oh, no, no. So the garment said it. The actual cloth did not. 
How on earth did I miss that? So I kind of feel compared to the locks in the first game that sort of makes sense but I don't like the fact that I have to use some of my meter MP in order to actually unlock these doors. So... We needed a one-of-a-kind special magical item to open that. But other NPCs are already going to be in this room. Thankfully, it's not what this is from Final Fantasy X. How dare you invade my territory? <laughs> Just a little human! <laughs> so, by the looks of it, we're going to stab him in the crotch. Why did you come here? I'm looking for a woman. I have no quarrel with you. Any woman will do. Who do you think you're talking to? Do you think you're equal to one from the demon clan? Not equal. Better. <laughs> you are me, little man. I will enjoy killing you. <laughs> Oh, completely Oh, no, no. Oh, that was a huge gold. Me. So I do like how I can block block with so like a strong attack. Did he just get bigger there? He just got bigger there. We meet again! Help, help! Oh, we're gonna have to. Gonna definitely gonna have to heal. Oh, he's dropped the rock on me. I'm already having to use a second healing item. Oh, come on. I'm literally trapped up now. But do you finish him off? I'm gonna leave. But I wonder if these NPCs can be killed by bosses and they just never go up again. Ready, ready for what? Now. Oh, that's it. Oh, 
Oh, will he only jump when he's, when he's enlarged? Okay. Sort of wait it out. So if that guy's just gonna tank the bones and sort of until I pull out the robot. You ain't ready? No. Guy's basically sponge. Sort of. He just will not go down. There we go, finally. Kill him, kill him now. Get let him get away. Ooh, five hundred gold that now for some women. <laughs> oh, is that all he thinks about? It does look though like the bosses heal you. It's a big pile of gold. No, that is a. I don't actually know what that is. Let's see if we've got any. That might end up meaning no more gold. Be entirely right about that. But at the very least, all the gold we did get didn't disappear. down where the bold guy went. So that's where we came from. In fact, what we have been ignoring is the map. So it says this. Yeah, so the only place we haven't been is an additional area back this way. Which I don't actually see. See, I'm gonna, there's going to be a lot of repeats of what happened in the first game where I don't see something and I just end up exploring the entire map again and again. Oh, we can, we can walk around. Oh, we can walk around that. See, how did this guy get here? 
the entire entranceway was sealed off. Hey, what's wrong? The monsters forced us to work in the mines. As slaves, I'm the only one who survived. Everyone else died from the exhaustion. <laughs> Are you alright? Hang on! Nope, he's exhausted. Oh, he's perfectly fine. We gave him some grilled fish and a drink and... Thank you. I feel fine now. By the way, the woman you were looking for might have been taken into the hole. The hole? The yes, hole. It's inside the gold mine, but the opening is blocked. There ah, is that's the one hole. way. You can enter the hole. Please use this to open it's the It's a cover. donut. What's that? I don't know exactly. But you can open the cover if you place this on top somehow. I just found it lying around there and I kept it. Please take it. Inside of the gold mine. Yes. I have to go now. Thank you. For everything. Thank you. So this is going to involve some backtracking back to the mine. But everybody likes donuts. I know I do. So we've got our permit, we've got our spear, we've got our donut. We're ready to head back. Oh, sadly we've not found a pug yet. We've not found a hungry pug. Ooh. Minus the mask. He's, oh, he just knocked the mask right off of that guy. Not fast enough, mate. And we could always go to the other dog. Sick of fighting them now. Though they do look faster than I am. Oh, there's the dog, or a dog. Just, just imagining I'm holding the donut in front of him, and he really, really wants it. Is that the permit guy? You can have one or the other. You can die a wealthy man and be buried with it all. Or you can live and end up poor.
I think the important oh it's this guy sure if I find anything rare Let's talk to the guy scratching his ass you don't actually have to work in here you can just wander around aimlessly and pick up loose bits of gold on the floor like this one see I'm now 50 gold richer Wait, is that the guy holding the... Oh, that was the ninja we just saved. No. I don't know what you wanted to be ready for. Oh, is he invisible? The ninja invisible, they okay. So an invisible ninja could be useful. Trying to gain gold, and I've just gained a couple hundred there. See, I could buy 50 eggs with all the gold I picked up now. Oh, and there's two more eggs. See, I'm only determined the gold's worth now, based entirely on how many eggs we can buy. See, that's one egg. That's one and a half eggs. Near enough. Oh, there's another one and a half eggs. I'd love to know what your class is interesting though. Right, let's let us find out how a donut opens a hole. Oh, a donut hole. Okay. So I see, I see his gun is glowing red. I'm now wondering, does he have a snake mum as well? Do all of these guys also have snake mums? Oh. Oh, it wants a hug. Get in here for a hug. Yeah, I'll give you more of a hand than you gave me. Yeah, well, good luck with the rest of these guys, mate. We have a hole to open up. What is this thing? rather not go down there if I can avoid it. No, let's not go into a hole. This is a bad idea. Oh, this is definitely a bad idea. This is 
does not look safe at all. <laughs> you, what are you doing here? Don't you know it's a demon world? As you are going to die soon, why not now? <laughs> Last game it took us absolutely ages to get to the demon world. We had to play most of the game just to unlock one room and then when we got into that room we then had to find a ceremonial oh we then had to find a ceremonial arrow in the bow to break open a barrier into the demon world. This guy just gets given a donut and he's there. Oh, okay. This guy definitely has it easier. And this, this is probably the guy that gets to go to the modern day France. At the end of it all, he gets a nice vacation to France. Yes, cue the third game. Oh, what was what was that? Oh, what is that in the top right hand corner of the screen that we can't see anymore? Oh, th this looks very, very familiar. Hmm? Ah. Too easy. Jube, about the conversation earlier. You remember the vengeful ghost thing? Yeah. Eke used to be a warrior and the feudal lord he served lost a great battle. At that time, Eke lost his wife and child. Despite that incident, he still holds on to his stupid dream. But even if his dream comes true and he becomes a feudal lord, another battle will occur and many people will die. It's the same for you. If you should defeat Nobunaga, another will rise to take his place. It never ends. Dunno, kinda feel like you missed the whole we killed the demon king bit earlier. Then again, you weren't around, but we did, we did, we killed a demon king. With super badasses. Okay, this hopefully still a save point. Oh no, it's this definitely wasn't here last time. What am I doing? We're making fifth. Okay, we're making fifteen. Yes, it seems to be Sudoku. That means that has to go there. That has to go there. That's a puzzle I can solve. Screw the sliding puzzles. But the math puzzles, yes. So that definitely looked like armor we got just there, but 
don't know. should at least somewhat know our way around here. So that room on the right is where we got betrayed by the insect lady last time. Oh no, help me, help me. Oh, it's not a face hugger, it's just a hugger. Oh, sliding puzzle. Okay, so we push that down. That across, and then... No? No, okay. That, that and that across. There we go. Yeah. Ooh, a power jewel. I will not forget to use those this time. Oh, so that wasn't armor, that was a key of some sort. I thought that was like hand armor or something. Ooh. Oh, that's that was the room that led to the portal to hell last time. See what this says. Oh, okay. But yeah, that that was where we first encountered. So that I believe was the room where the insect lady first turned into an insect lady and then opened a portal to hell that we needed a special bow and arrow to get into. That and had a boss behind it that killed us time and time and time again. So it'll be interesting to see what lies behind that door. And this should lead on to the roof. Are you okay? For some reason whenever I see the bold guy, I think of the character Pyrrhus from the Dot Hat series. Large skeleton here to kill us again this time. Because last time, right in front of this door, was a large skeleton with a shield. Demon baby, kill it. Baby. 
Oh, Mio. Is that his daughter? Oh, my baby. My baby. <laughs> Thank you very much. What? What you said, daughter? <laughs> you didn't mean baby daughter, did you? <laughs> this is too good. She is very cute. Older Taideke. Oh, no. What? Why is he thinking of burning the baby? <gasps> no, what's he this doing? Is my baby. My daughter. No, <laughs> what? <laughs> when the castle fell. Oh no, I forgot he had a baby. Like I did everything I could to rescue her. <laughs> the fire. <laughs> okay. When she was born, I promised her. When she grew up, I would become a feudal lord and make her a princess. So I. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, he went from pathetic to sad. He's giving the baby back. Yes, sir. <sighs> See that scene sort of took a turn for the bizarre when you when I forgot he had a child in the past. And I thought he just went a bit crazy and kidnapped a baby. Oh, he flew. In fact, we should come back because we still need to give him a new pair of clothes. What's in the box? Ooh, ooh, we've got loads of herbs. Purified charm. We certainly don't have whatever that needs. The gra oh, so we're going to get new weapons soon. But first, backtracking. I believe there is one room below us. Oh, there's a big scary skeleton guy. I do have a map, but, but... I'm navigating this from the memory of the first game. See, in Scam Samino's game, you did a special necklace to speak to ghosts. This guy doesn't. I reckon Snake Mum gave him more powers than he realises. Oh, we've got a purified charm. We just got that. I've got one of those, buddy. I mean I can't use the 
literally just told me he wants the Purify Charm. I did give you the Purify Charm. You said you didn't want it. Oh. There we go. What's the ghost gonna give us? What's he gonna give us? Come on, best weapon in the game. We got both sides of the mask. Oh, that's a book. That's certainly a book. Oh, we ain't reading that. So, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and assume he didn't actually have ghost talking powers. He just sort of imagined all of that to justify stealing from a body, a dead guy. So we've just looted that corpse. Let's not kid ourselves. We've just looted a corpse. Hoping that maybe, just maybe, this elephant item is what we need. Oh, yeah, we probably should have tried using it the first time around. Just straight off the bat. Then we would have known. But, 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 we've got in here a lot, a lot quicker than we did the first time around. So I'm actually really curious to see what's in here. <laughs> well, well, well. Foolish woman. The fate of Adani Castle has already been decided. There is no way to stop it. You'd better just forget about it. Don't you think? <gasps> You're very clever to stay here with me instead of returning to a side which is falling. <laughs> You're disgusting. Touch me again and you'll regret it. Oh, <laughs> so serious. You're feisty, as always. Anyway, this is the will of our lord, so I cannot allow you to leave this castle. Run. You are. No, don't you run. Help you fight. You're still alive? Alive? It was the Oda clan who attacked Yankee Village. You will pay for that. Since the Yagyu clan stood in our way of conquering the country, we just annihilated them. That explains a few now things. Kill Go. Go now. Hurry. Or she could help us fight, and it would make things a lot easier. Because, I mean, look at these guys. Oh, at least we can literally freeze them and shatter them. Not to let this guy kill us. See, whenever there's a barrier over one of these doors, is it wrong of me to want Jubei to blow a kiss at it to shatter the seal or the barrier? Weapon? No. <laughs> Thank you for staying. 
Yes, but don't you feel like this game would have been improved a bit if Jubei acted a little bit more like Bayonetta? My name is... Golden Dantis, the greatest swordsman of all demons. What's wrong with you? Who talks like that? <laughs> I like him. I like the way he talks. Well, Jubei... It's been a while since I've encountered someone like you. My sword is trembling with tears of excitement. So... Angard. Oh, we're gonna die. We're just gonna outright die. <laughs> I feel like we're also on the wrong side of this, using a spear. Oh, he's really blocking every attack we have. Like, it may not be possible to even actually land a hit on him. It's maybe a fight we just have to outlast for now. And then end up fighting later on, if you know what I mean. Because even when we hit him mid-attack, he'd still just counter and block us. Oh, I know my health was, was low. I didn't actually plan to beat him that time. I just wanted to see what the fight was like. Because unfortunately last time we did go into this with a little less health than we could have done. Like I was attacked putting these face plates in. So I could have saved some health there. And I can also presumably save some HP after this point. <laughs> plus, plus, we now get to confirm that in the sequel, we can indeed... Oh no, we may have got it there. But we can indeed skip cutscenes. So there is at least one quality of life improvement in this over the first game. You won't have to watch the same cutscene seven to eight times in a row when a boss kicks the ass. Oh. And I've not yet seen any attack from the sky. In fact, let's switch out to a sword and see if that does anything. No, he still blocks all of my attacks. You are. See, even when he taunts me, he blocks. That's one move we can't block. Let's take a herb. I think we've got a couple. Yes, we have a decent stock of herbs. Oh. Yeah, so it was just a case of sort of surviving so long. Use this! Hurry! Come on! 
or come down and help. How sad. Cowards never triumph and heroes never run. I don't but want to hear that from a demon. I suppose that it can't be helped. You are too weak to take me on. Um, something disturbs me a little bit this about one. his chest armor. I don't know if anyone else noticed what his chest armor looked like. But it was. What is that? Why is she staring at that? Huh? Oh, yeah, that's what we were after. The thing on a necklace. Let me use the orb that you wear around your neck. My guess is there's something bad in there. Oh, we don't even intend to give that back. Sure, this can't possibly go wrong. It's a bomb. Oh, it's a horse. Is that our horse now? Do we have a robot horse? We have a robot horse. What's this? Oh, demon mum bought us a pony. Yeah, this is this is taking a turn for. Come on. The, the turning ways I never expected. <sighs> but at least we don't have to fight this guy. What? Oh, first person pussy. Oh, and that's the end of the game. We unite, we found our love interest, and we rode off into the sunset on our majestic robot horse. And we all lived happily ever after, or something, leaving everyone else to be killed by demons. Where did you get this orb? It's been in my family for generations. But it's yours now for saving my life. Thank you. By the way, I never did get your name. My name is Oyu. I'm from Odani. So you were related to Asai? 
I see. Nobunaga is taking down Asai right now. We had no chance against his army. So I went to Gifu Castle to kill Nobunaga myself. But... I was caught. I understand. I must take revenge on Nobunaga for the Yagyu clan. Well... I'll be here in Amasho for a while, so... Oh, she's into us, uh, but we're not into women. Oh. Anyway, thank you for helping me. If you need anything, please, let me know. Oh no, we've got everything we need from you. We've got the magic crystal orb thing and a robot horse. We're pretty set now, I think. Let's go see the robot horse. Oh, is that literally it now? I once rode this robot horse, but I'm just going to leave it here forever. Hey, Jubei! Hmm? Kotaro! Tell me the name of that woman. Oyu. Are you sure? Why? Do you know something about her? I think I've seen her somewhere. Anyway, don't trust her. Believe me, Jubei. Don't turn your back on her. Kodaro. No, I reckon they'd be questioning the horse. In fact, I reckon there should be an angry mob with pitchforks and torches trying to kill me and the demon horse. How much gold do we have? That much gold. No. Maybe because you just sat on the floor. You know, you might actually have to run the business. But before I do anything, let's check the shop and see what interesting goodies have been restocked. See if he's sold out on all those eggs yet or not. Oh, that's a scam if I ever heard it. I'll give you a special... See, look, give you a special discount, but the egg is exactly the same amount. There is no discount on the egg. Ah, I saw silver armour just there. Oh, that's for the woman only. Where's all of my armour? So, we've got loads of weird stuff in here. They are literally selling us a box containing all the evils of the world. And it's only 700 gold. That is a special discount if ever I've seen one. Okay, the, the, the real question is, which one of them wants the dirty novel? Is it Eke or what's his name? Yes, is it that guy or that guy? Is it... I cannot pronounce that. I've forgotten how to pronounce that. Or Eke, which one of them? Is it the weird pervy bold guy or is it the one who claims he likes to read?
Or we could just get married. Try the naughty book. Okay. We will do. But we will have to try that next time. <laughs> Save it first. Yes. I will definitely be saving this now. Because I am going to end this here. We've got two of the five orbs, and I think we've made quite a bit of progress today in this. But that will be all for now. I will certainly be back on Sunday, as per my schedule below, to continue this, because we're going to see this through to the end. So if you are interested in seeing the next part, please do follow. And thank you everyone who did show up. It's been incredibly fun. And I will see you next time. So bye for now.